Hi everyone, I hope you are well. So today I'm going to do a very short review of the Chanel Le Beige collection um, which was recently came out and it contains a face powder and also a travel kabuki brush. So if you're not familiar with the collection, just check out the information below but I'll quickly go on to the products. So the product I've got is the travel kabuki brush which is, looks like this and also a powder and looks like that. So um, I had the box, but my boyfriend has thrown them away because he's such a clean freak. Um, so I'll put a photo of the packaging um, at the very end of this um, video. So let's go on to the powder first. So it comes with a pouch like this, and then the powder itself is a, um, I hope you can see it, it's not a white, it's more a slightly milky beige kind of colour. Um, on the front and then it has the back packaging at the back the black packaging at the back and then I got the number in number 10 so it's called Le Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Powder SPF 15 PA++ so I believe this is a mineral powder I compared the agreed ingredients with the um, Laura Mercier um, mineral powder and it's mostly similar so that's why it can be used as a um, foundation um, I just dropped my brush so so that's the brush and so that's the inside of this compact so the brush is a half moon kind of lip slightly curled brush and I believe the hair is a uh, natural hair it's very thin though so it's only good for touch-ups it won't be very useful if you use it as a foundation brush so and also the way the brush is held inside the um, the compact is very strange so it comes with you know a little cap and then the powder is inside and you put a cap back on and then you put the brush back on but when you want to use it you to tip everything out so I'm not sure how you su how Chanel suppose everybody to keep the brush inside um, like this but I would just you know put the brush inside the pouch you want to keep the brush so the powder itself is very kind of creamy really really finely milled won't be able to see much color I have um, it's very light and it's got a pink undertone and number 20 which is one color up is slightly slightly darker but it's got a yellow undertone so this one um, I use it as a powder I've used it as a powder foundation um, I've got another foundation on today um, because I wasn't planning doing this review, um, but I use it as a touch-up. So you can use it as a touch-up. It's a really fine, milk, finely milled powder. So you know it mattifies your skin, um, but also it doesn't kind of go flat. So it's still got very dimension of your, you know, your, of your glow coming out. So I would say it still looks really, really natural um, as a, you know, a mattifying powder. So this powder, I've used this as a foundation, as I said, and it looks amazing on the skin. It doesn't leave a powdery finish, which is what I love the most about it. You can use it as a powder foundation, buff it in, and it still looks really, really natural. It doesn't have a cakiness or any powderness. That's why I, f I say it's natural. It's not, you know, it gives a glow and all that stuff, but it doesn't leave any powderness on your skin, which is why I think it's amazing products um, even with the Laura Mercier mineral powder I, f I do have to use a fix plus to just to spray and to get rid of the powderness and this one I've used it with the travel kabuki brush and it worked really really nice and I was amazed how kind of invisible it looks and it just gives evens out your skin tone it won't cover anything but it just gives you a really really nice canvas on your face um, so it's really hard to describe but I think it's you know one of the best powder foundation or any kind of powder foundation I've ever tried better than any mineral foundation I've ever tried so so far I'm loving it so that's the powder and then next on to the Kabuki brush so it's very fat and it's about the, the length of my fingers and has a Chanel logo, it's a white hair, it's slightly dirty because I've used mine and I've just washed it so it's uh, the shape is a bit wonky um, but the, the hair is the finest hair I've ever seen um, Goss Makeup Artist has a really good review on it so I won't be talking too much about it, I'll just link his review down below but 
my thoughts are exactly the same it's amazing amazing product you can use liquid foundation with it um, but I'm just gonna keep it with this powder because they work really really well and also um, I'm afraid if I use a liquid foundation it's going to be very difficult to wash because you can't really see what's underneath it with these kind of travel product brushes the closest products I can think of is my eco tool um, I think it's a buffer brush so you know, ignore the you know the head or the the color. This one is also synthetic. It's very fine, very thin, very very soft. Um, it's pretty much on the same kind of softness as the Chanel. So you know, on the hand, um, it feels probably ninety percent similar. I think it works pretty similar. So if you are considering this one, is probably around ten pounds, and that should be a really good combination as well. So hopefully, if you are looking you know to get either of the products or both and um, it helps you and um, I'll see you next time bye bye I've used the health bourgeois health mix serum foundation uh, and this is the third time I've used it and I still don't like it. I don't know why such hype about it, so I'll tr keep trying, but anyway.